Hello everybody, Mezzanator808 here and welcome back to the video where today I am back to playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, where we last left off was a sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kuh. Wait, wait a minute. Did she have... Wait, wait a minute. She had... Jesus Christ. No. 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 Hold on. And it's all gone. Man. That whole... Great. Yeah. That's great. That's, that's good. Yeah. Get closer a little bit. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, thanks for waiting patiently. Uh, Mez, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now, it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hehe. <laughs> in that case, you'll only be more impressed. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would be, in real life, I would be impressed if someone could make, like, any type of tea, like, perfectly. I don't know why I did this, I shouldn't have done that. But perfectly, and, like, that's, that's impressive to me. You know, it, it goes to show on, like, how much they enjoy tea, you know? enjoy making it. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, perhaps I will. Hold on, wait. I did read that like Yuri, right? I hope. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and brings measuring and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming to herself a little. Wow, she's actually showing a bit more emotion and expressions lately. That's pretty cool. You know? That that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty nice, you know. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? <laughs> I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. That's actually what I said. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, it turns out it's not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying- <clears throat> Sorry. You're always worrying about me, Mez. It's very endearing. That's- Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Miss, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Uh, I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries, I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I... Do my best to manage it. Well, I'm pretty sure after, like, anyone would have back pain after hunching over for, like, so long. Because, like, when you're reading, like, you don't expect how long, like, like, you usually are, like, in, you know, the world, like, that world. The, the book world, you know? The world that's in the book. So you lose all track of time. So you don't realize that it's been, like, an hour, three hours, like, sometimes five hours when you're just on the book. So, yeah, eventually it will, you know, hurt your back. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly, it's most likely because my, uh, my, my, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes, uh, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why I should sit on the floor. That's why we should sit on the floor. Uh, fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. 
I retrieved my book from I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolates as well. It's a small bag of chocolates. But I read that wrong, but I don't care. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. You and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time. Each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Oh, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. Uh, how am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... She's being less apprehensive. It's almost more than I can handle. Y your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up positioning it. I end up in a position where it's even harder to focus. Because now, I need to worry to make sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. That would be bad. That would be embarrassing. Like, you don't know how embarrassing that would be in, like, if you accidentally did that. Jesus, my hair. Sorry. It's just my hair is hard to manage sometimes. So, there we go. That should be good. Um, that would be really embarrassing, though. Like, you're in the middle of reading, and you accidentally feel like a hand accidentally just, like, you know, up against your chest. That would be... Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her immense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Uh, you can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, man, hiccups. I'm just having so many problems in the- Uh, that's- that's okay, I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well... If I touch them, then- it might get smudges on the pages. Okay, I was about to say, who would reject chocolates? Then I remembered. Not that, not the fact that, you know, that. But I, I had someone at school who I knew that absolutely, like, hated chocolate. I never knew why, because every time I asked him, he wouldn't, like, tell us. Which is weird. But, yeah, like, who doesn't like chocolate, though? It's really good. But, I mean, yeah, if you, but it's not a good thing to, like, eat chocolate while you're reading sometimes. Because you might, you know, like, the chocolate will melt and you might accidentally smudge the book pages with the chocolate. Which is bad! Unless it's, like, a really old, old book. Or, like, you just grabbed a book, a random book, it ended up being the book you hated, and you needed a reason to toss it. So, I don't know. Uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. M my bad. No need to apologize. I'll, I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course! Oh. That's actually pretty- I like that. That's a really cool, like, draw design. Like, they even added, like, the dust particles. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it, so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case... Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate. Is he gonna have like two chocolate? Am I gonna have like two chocolates in a row? I usually wait before it. Oh! And I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't look away from the book. Simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. The dude has the confidence to do this? I wouldn't be able to do this. This is embarrassing. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Gee, I would never do this in real life. It's too embarrassing. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Yeah. Uh, in real life, this would happen. Like, actually happen. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me. Like, she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um, Mez? Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't, Mez. 
Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Mez. Oh, things went dark. Like, if I do this, I can see the thing, but I, I'm just gonna look over, like, at the thing, because it's, like, brighter on the on my actual computer screen, not my monitor. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Mez. I, I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Mez? Sudden, Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Whoa. That's, that's a lot of, wow. Can't believe, what? I can't believe she would, what, what, what? Why is, why is this happening to me? I, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I, I can't make it stop. It, it makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, her eyes. Oh, they're human. Oh, God, they're human eyes. I think. Yeah, those are human eyes. Ew, that's, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the screaming. That's my bird. My dad was trying to get it quiet. Uh, um, it's again. I apologize. It's time to share poems. Um. I think I'm gonna go with Yuri first again. Um, I mean, that was creepy, but I mean, I'm going the Yuri path second, so... I, I've been waiting for this. Let's see what, you what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Mez, this one might even be better than yesterday's. How'd you even pick up on it so quickly? Yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. M maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. <laughs> that makes me happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Mez. Everything you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Miss? I'm not being weird, right? I'm... I'm having a harder time than usual I can see like, my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed, but right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? A rotate wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning on an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. A parabolic je gearbox. Expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cog wheels. Existence of God. Swimming with an open. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devoting snakes, time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky exploding stars, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions. Faulty? I think that's faulty. Faulty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks. Every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer. Connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolthead, breathing ship, 
Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing god. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. Jeez. She really put, like, a lot into that. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. My- wait, my pen? Uh, that is- a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, uh, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way it write- that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> Uh, I'm okay. Uh, uh, what did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You you can keep the poem, though. Um, okay. I guess Natsuki's next. Yeah, just as I thought. Huh? Mez, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it blankly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Mez? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I really don't feel like talking right now. Please, go away. Natsuki? That... I feel bad. Uh, it's Monica. Mez, I think you saw something early that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have much of a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she starts to find a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Okay, so I get- I, I, so some of you people probably like Monica, but I hate her. And this is part of the reason. She doesn't try to help out her friend at all. Like, instead of like helping her, she goes to the person that she- like that- that Yuri is talking to and says, Hey, stay away from her. Because then she'll do this. Instead of saying, Hey, um... How about me and you go talk to Yuri, and hopefully try to get her to not do that again? But no, she, she tells us to stay away. And she's just a bad person. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I just think she gets kind of high of it. A kind of a high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. Come on, Monica, just help her out. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So, I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with you. Really, this is all a big ploy just to hang out with you? This makes me want to hang out with you even less. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club- She knows how to treat her club members more than you. Jeez, why am I getting so salty to her? But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors. They won't. Bright. Beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, blue, green, in endless kinif- Uh, cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent. Grating. Uh. Waveforms? Squeaking. Screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's math. That's math. Why would you add math? Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. 
Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Endless something, something of meaningless. Delete her. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How about you delete yourself, Monica? How about that? Uh. That just kind of went boom. Odd. Um. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it here for today. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, su like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that way you guys can get notified whenever I upload. And that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.